Hey guys, welcome back to another most video. So in today's video, I wanted to make another video on the Colosseum. Today, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be playing the Titanium Arena for the first time. So we're going to see how well we perform in this one because what I'll be doing is I'll use um, Everest. So this monster is actually meta right now in the Colosseum. So I wanted to give it a try because I own this monster. So I want to see how much damage I can actually deal and uh, what placement we could actually go for. So I hope you guys are excited. If you are, make sure you drop a like, subscribe. Anyways, let's go and get started. Before we get started guys, I do want to check out the treasure cave monster to see what they put up. Oh my gosh, Sensei Panikin, are you kidding me? Come on, they are literally... Um, I, I think they actually nerfed it. I'm not even kidding. I think they nerfed the treasure cave. I'm not like I haven't seen anything above corrupted monsters recently. So I think corrupted monsters are basically the, the monsters now that are gonna be in the treasure cave. So does that mean treasure cave is completely dead? Well, not really, if you really think about it. The, with the monsters, yes, obviously. So it's not as, as good as it used to be with the, like in terms of like getting a high ranked, uh, you know, high rated monsters. Because uh, I, I assume it's because players were like abusing glitches and like bugs and stuff like that. Um, and obviously, I, I, I kind of did in the beginning as well. Not really. It was it was more of like it was more of like tips, I guess, or uh, it wasn't really glitches. I, I would say. Uh, but sure, you can consider it a bug. Sure, you know what I mean. Where like, for example. I used to go with, uh, for example, there used to be like a pattern that we used to follow, but uh, it didn't work for everybody. So I don't know if it was really like maybe I was get just getting lucky or something. Maybe it wasn't really a bug after all. But I know that there was like some other um, like something going on with like uh, the pot three where players were actually kind of abusing that. So I never really got into it, but um, I assume it's because of that, or maybe they just decided to just change it overall, just because uh, they they thought it was super OP, like just getting a rank three just for five gems, because players were actually getting that. Anyways, guys, so I, I don't know, maybe hopefully they'll bring it back uh, in the future, but uh, from what I'm seeing right now, it's it's just a bunch of corrupted monsters. But again, you can still go for the tickets, obviously, and gems as well. Uh, but especially tickets, I think tickets are definitely the best value that you can actually uh, get. Uh, but anyways, so here's what we're gonna do. Um, faction close team, right? So it looks like right now, in terms of placement, I'm actually in the top 25,000, all right? Keep that in mind, 25,000. Now, you guys can see here, we have the syndicate, which means in that book, we have uh, the new ancestral monster. And if you actually go over to the titanium arena, you can actually see that you can actually, uh, that you're allowed to use ancestral. And that's the only one that you're allowed to use ancestral. So uh, a friend of mine, uh, one of my subscribers as well, uh, Monster Master, which is actually one of the best players in the Colosseum, you guys uh, already know that. Um, he actually told me about this and I don't know what placement he actually is, but usually he's in the top um, I assume maybe he's missing one of the monsters like one of the meta monsters Maybe that's why um, he's currently not up there or maybe he's just not playing this time around But anyways looks like a lot of players are actually using ion v2 uh, Mixed with everest and obviously Thalassa, but uh, I want to see what uh, Some players are actually using here that I personally own because i don't own her uh if if i did then obviously i would i would have definitely used it but i i don't have it so i can't use that i could do albanasa with this you know what i mean so albanasa with uh with everest that would work but i want to see uh what players are actually using so some, somebody's actually using a kahaku surprisingly a kahaku that's crazy that is actually insane to me somebody's actually using him um so i, I assume it's it's like whoever whoever's in like a part of which might call it so obviously it's everest and i don't know about just injustice we can actually check just injustice is there to be honest uh but He's, he doesn't give you like any like a uh, point percentage or anything like that, like uh, anything like that, like in terms of boosting. Um, so if anything, we probably do junk jewel just for the extra damage boost, but I don't think that's really the case. Uh, now Albanasa, I believe, actually does give you something. No, okay, so Albanasa is just there for the damage boost. It seems like Everest is the only one here that we actually have. Now, if I actually had somebody from the Honor Dojo, that would have been really cool because that would have uh, that would have been like a plus, uh, like like that would have been like a one X. You know what I mean? So. Should we just do junk troll or someone random here? Um, I don't think it really matters. I, I guess we could do Pralka if anything. You know what I mean? But the thing with Pralka is that uh, this monster doesn't actually. I don't have. I don't have all three rune slots open. Um, and I guess we can actually do the triple strength on this monster. And then obviously with him, we can actually just make him slightly faster than uh, our attacker, so that uh, he he she takes in the first turn and we actually attack after. But uh, I assume everybody's running a laser beam source, so you can actually kind of like, uh, what you might call it, you can uh, go ahead and boost up your strength a little bit. So here's what we're gonna do, run. We're gonna do this exact setup here. So 16.7 and 16.4. Now I wonder what Proker is actually running here. So we have triple damage, and that's about it. So I guess what we what you could do. Is 
is actually uh, use probably with triple damage, and then this monster we could do some like double damage or 25% with 75% damage boost. That would work out. Uh, but yeah, anyways, uh, let's start this and see how it actually goes. Okay, so this is gonna be what we're, what we're actually gonna use. Uh, none of these monsters are Thunder Elements because we do have Thunder Hater. So I can actually do triple damage uh, with Harden Hater. That would be cool, but none of them actually Harden Elements. Um, I'm gonna just do this type of damage boost, and then I do probably cause triple damage. And then here we actually eliminate the big threat here, which is obviously this monster right here, the attacker. So five million damage only. I wonder what players are actually using that like is dealing so much damage to him. Like maybe it's like it's gotta be hater, right? It's gotta be some kind of hater. I think it's just all the haters that kind of like stack up because we only got thirty five point nine million, which is nothing. This is, some players are actually dealing like billions of of damage. So. How about we try the same, exa same exact thing again, um, except we actually change it up a little bit. Uh, I want to see uh, what players are actually using for the second one. They are using a different setup, it seems like. So let's see, first player is actually using this monster as an attacker, and I personally don't have that. And then obviously him uh, as the, or her as the uh, supporter. So two damage boosters, you could either do that, or I I don't know, that monster is also there, it, it seems like. So... I don't know. I don't know what, should I, what I should actually use, to be honest. There's Bashir. Somebody's actually using Bashir. So what if I do Bashir with Albanasa, and then for the third monster, we actually do someone different. Like Everest, for example. We could do Everest, you know what I mean? So let's uh, let's give that a try. So I'm going to go ahead and start this. And it's the same exact uh, stuff again. Now, we have Everest, we have Albanasa, and then there's Bashir. And I should actually own Bashir. Now, he's going to be all the way in the bottom. Now, I wonder why players are actually using Kahaku. Like, let's go over Let's go over this real quick. Why am I... Hold on. I didn't mean to click that. I don't have... Wait, are you kidding me? I actually don't have him? I thought I had Kahaku. What the heck? Did I... Am I... What? Am I missing him? No way. What? Okay, well, in that case, I guess we're going to have to go with their Bashir. And this one's just going to be like a Team Strength Holder. So, just like a supporter in our side. Um, and I want to see if she, if this monster can actually help uh, in any way possible. There's like light, random controls. Nope. Um. Yeah. No. Evasion. Curse. Remove stamina. We're good. So you're just gonna be there with the team strength. Um. And then we're gonna get rid of the shadow essence because earlier that didn't help us out a lot uh, at all. So let's see how this goes. I'm gonna do my triple damage with uh, my hater here. Harden hater. I got rooted. Wow. That's crazy. I don't have my triple damage anymore. Uh, well, in that case, shall we just stack up our damage boost then? We, we could actually do that. So um, I wonder if I could actually use, use my triple damage here on the second go. I don't think I can. I, I wish I could have, but I, I don't think I can. Uh, because I would have I would actually done that. Here, here's what we're going to do. We're going to back out and we're going to try this again. But this time I have an, uh, I have an idea. So here's what we're going to do. So we got fire hater. None of them are actually fire elements, but it's fine. We're going to do this damage boost because usually that lasts a few turns and the monster gets rooted, so it's okay the first turn. And then we're going to do the double damage. And then since he's so fast, he should actually be able to do something else. Um, So I'm going to just go ahead and do stamina leak here. And just to like, you know, mess with them with their stamina a little bit. Um, You don't really have to do that. But here we go with the triple damage and that comes with a hardening hater. So now we have every type of damage boost plus we have the strength from our sword. So I could actually do this AoE uh, which actually comes with cold blood. I could actually deal damage to these two which is going to be strong. So we might as well go ahead and take advantage of that. And let's see how much damage is actually going to be. Six million. Okay, so a little over se uh, six and a half million. So I guess we could actually kind of like reset that again. But we have to wait for our triple damage. So I think I have to charge up at least one time here. So that monster is just going to keep on doing the support stuff. And I guess what we can do here is is we could save our other skill but we do the damage boost and then we do the double damage and then next turn we should be able to do uh wait no is the double damage gonna go away yeah it actually did oh man that sucks now this actually comes with triple damage it removes all negative status effects and apparently it actually applies triple damage but i do need my double damage as well so it's fine let's just do the we'll do the double damage and i guess we could use the ultimate after plus it's not going to deal damage to that monster anyways because uh we don't have pierce and it has dodge area so anyways, let's see how much damage this is going to be. Um, obviously, it would have been a lot better. Uh, 1.4 million. That's crazy. I wish I had like water hater or something. That would, have been, that, would have, that would have actually helped out a lot. Oh, there's a second wave. I didn't even know. Okay. Well, in that case, uh, we could do this. This monster is going to do the double damage and then triple damage right after. And with all that being said, we can actually do a stamina leak from all of them. So let's just uh, remove some stamina. That will actually help us out a little bit. Power flow can do whatever. 
that attacker could do whatever and then obviously we have the tank damage decrease i'm so glad you didn't do that to my attacker obviously i'm not going to attack here because that's going to be silly but look at this guys now we have hardened hater we have umbrella hater basically so we can actually do, use our aoe damage here uh which one's going to deal more this one's 40 percent. so let's do the 40 percent. and this ladies and gentlemen should be a good amount of damage let's see 18.5 million against bella all right now obviously uh the players that are in the top top placement they're actually using wow 168 million it's crazy this is the most i've ever done but i was gonna say the, the top players actually have like 150 like maxed out uh new ancestral obviously everest right and all the other monsters are also maxed out so anyways look at this so faction bonus actually got x3 uh difficulty bonus obviously i got a 1.5 turns used that also actually makes a difference as well but look at this this is the like the craziest this is the most damage i've ever dealt so let's go ahead and press next and let's see what our placement is top 600 are you kidding no way so top 600 you're telling me players are actually no way so i actually want to see what the top 100 is then i wonder why these two players uh teams or setup is not showing up here but anyways the top 100 here that we are looking at is actually 1.2 billion so in order for you to, to be in the top 100 you need to be deal dealing at least a billion damage over a billion obviously so this player is actually using exactly what i have obviously i think i have ion v2 but it's level 100 so you're telling me i can do the same exact thing here how did this player manage to do this i i gotta know what the what the heck did this player do in order for him to actually do this you know what i'm gonna do i'm pretty sure i actually have this monster so we can actually look for it let's do the light elements obviously and we'll do oh i can't filter through mythic here but it actually should be around here if i oh wow i don't have it are you kidding me I seriously thought I had this monster, but I guess I don't. But you know who I actually do have? And it is in the water element. This guy right about... Where is he? Are you kidding me? I no way. You know... What? How do I not have these monsters? I swear to you guys that I have the cells at least. Maybe I just never crafted it. Maybe that's why. It's got to be that because there it is i knew it i have yoshisama you know what i mean just ready to be crafted and i think this it's the same thing with ion v2 i know for a fact okay i don't think i have the uh ion v2 never mind okay so maybe it wasn't a breeding and i tried obtaining it but i never did it or maybe i have a, like a decent amount of cells maybe that probably threw me off but anyways what we are going to do though is oh i even have kahaku there that's great so i can actually craft this for now and that much is going to be hashed up soon so what exactly does he do that makes um which am i call it that like helps deal so much damage uh, is he like part of the one of the factions the thing is though i can't really uh speed it up because i don't have the jumps for it or else i would actually do it but i can use a similar setup and i don't think i could deal as much damage as they did uh let's go ahead and change our attacker though so we'll do a different attacker and we'll do maybe pralka if anything or some players have been using bashir so we could do bashir if anything um but let's do i really want to do pralka actually it's fine we don't have to do pralka uh let's let's just go back to bashir i guess and i'm gonna do the same exact stuff here and instead of this level nine speed i'm gonna do a strength so it has triple strength and uh, the light damages should actually deal a good amount of damage so this heavy light damage we can actually go with that and there's a low there's a massive oh yeah we can definitely carry this massive one so in state special damage i don't think that's going to do much to me so i'm just going to carry that those skills uh the two lights and i think that's actually going to help out a pretty good amount um so i could do my normal damage boost and he's going to get his awakening but obviously i don't need that straight away so i'm just going to go ahead and charge up i do have fire hater but i don't think that really helps much here to me um I, i'm not going to do i even if I do the double damage, that doesn't really help because the monster's rooted. So we're gonna give it a turn in. It's fine. Let's let the monster, uh, the monsters like root go away, and then we can do triple damage. It's fine. We don't need the double damage. So we have, I think, 400% damage boost or something. So we can actually use our, what should I call it, awakening here, um, straight away, or we can actually mess around a little bit. And actually, let's do it anyways. 55%. I think what players do is that they keep spamming maybe the 70 percent i would say this is like the best guess um i think this is what players are actually doing they just keep spamming this we can actually try it out so 70 percent we can actually use it against uh, the attacker i think that's the big threat here so let's get rid of the attacker 17 million yeah i'll take that over you know just dealing like less than 10 million with the awakening so what i'll do next is i can do the aoe damage use again and then i'll go ahead and charge up here and i want to do my double damage but i know that's not going to be a good idea no the monster died no wait does it even matter because i feel like i would i would have dealt maybe the same amount of damage if not less with the aoe skill if i use that 
but it still sucks that we just lost them like that. So I'll just do my double damage for now, and oh man, that sucks. So am I just forced to do this, or should we actually let's let's mess around a little bit more? So I'll go ahead and charge up here a little bit, and then I'll do my I do my AOE damage boost. Yeah, let's do it. We'll do AOE, charge up, and then we'll do triple damage. That's better than what I had er earlier, right? So we'll do the signal target here 70 percent and that's 7.1 million that's better than what we did earlier which was 1. Point something million and then we're gonna go ahead and charge up this time around and until we get our aoe here charge up and hopefully we don't get denied here because that would suck but we'll wait it uh, a turn and then we're gonna do our which might call it triple damage here in a second actually we can't do it yet he, did, he still has his damage boost here so finally we can actually do the triple damage and charge up so now we have harden hater which who has it that monster has harden hater but then again we still got to get you uh, through the taunts monster so we still have to use this against him obviously and eliminate him and then we're just gonna uh, basically we're gonna eliminate every single one of them with just a single targets because they're not really the like a big threat so we're fine with like just taking our time anyways um, I guess I'll have to wait two turns here for the cooldown to be over. But this isn't like the early, like, beginner, um, which am I call it? The beginner stages, like the Sony Rune, for example, where if you don't do something, they're going to beat you up, basically. They're going to limit you, so you gotta watch out. So anyways, we have our AoE damage boost finally. I'm gonna charge up, and then actually right about here, we will do the triple damage. Hopefully, they don't do anything bad to me. And finally, we can actually do even the double damage. That's even better, so we have every single damage boost here. And look at this, guys. This is about to deal so much damage against that Bella ball because yeah look at that 24 21.4 that's what i'm talking about now we also got to be careful with in terms of uh the amount of turns we actually use as well so we'll do this damage boost i should i should have done the double damage i feel like but it's fine uh we'll do double damage here charge up charge up uh triple damage all right finally triple damage with the two damage boosts uh let's go ahead and do our single target guys so single target light weakness massive 7.1 million i'll take that let's see how much it's going to be overall this is going to be my best one yet lane jump. what are you kidding me what is it because the amount of turns i use <laughs> Seven hundred nineteen thousand total score is that are you serious? Wait, wait, what? What just went wrong there? Was it because of the amount of turns I used? Or, I don't know. I, I think it's, it's because of the amount of turns I used. Oh, wait, no, not just that. But also, he's not part of the uh, part of the bonus. That's why. That makes sense. Oh, no. Okay. What, what about instead of Bashir, we switch it up with this attacker? I feel like that would actually balance it out. Don't you guys think so? And obviously, we don't need the Shadow Essence. So let's go ahead and switch it out and... Let's see how it goes this time around. I think this time around is actually going to be better. Actually, I think it's a better idea if we back out and go back in because, um, what should I call it? Oh, I do, do I even have tickets? I do have enough tickets. Great. What I was going to do was, um, this is actually my last try too. What I was going to do is, uh, I know this monster actually has like a damage boost, right? The triple damage. Yeah. Why don't we actually carry that? I don't know why I haven't been carrying that. I completely forgot about it. So some of you guys were probably shouting in the screen like, yo, why aren't you running the triple damage skill? Well, I forgot. I'm sorry. <laughs> but now uh, it should actually be good. So... Uh, after the turn is lost here, we do have Magicator, and one of them is actually Magic Element, so that's good. That actually helps out, so we gotta be careful here. Uh, we could actually do the triple damage, because I know that Magicator is probably gonna run away soon. Uh, no, we're good for now. So, what about we? Do, what if we do double damage, and then triple damage with him when he gets a turn in? Like this. That gives me evasion as well. So now we have every every damage boost um, all together, and we can even give him Umbrella Heater, but none of them are actually um, like under Umbrella, basically. None of them have that uh, trait. So we can actually charge up and you don't have to do anything so you just charge up as well and finally he gets into turn guys so instead of the aoe here we do a single target are you not oh i thought you were magic element it's okay let's do this against this monster then oh never mind all right so six point sixteen point one million we'll take um we are using a lot of turns i've got to say so i'll i'll yeah i gotta watch out from that but Everest gets to turn in. We'll do the triple damage. And we can use our light weakness again. Or we can do the triple damage. Oh, man. It's fine. We have triple damage already. So we'll just do this. It's fine. But for the next one, we can actually do that. So I'll do the double damage. Even though that's going to go to waste. Because I'm going to do my triple damage skill here. Uh, and then we'll do the AOE damage boost. And finally, all that. I think it's like a 420% or something. Damage boost. 6 point something million. We'll take it. So we have mob mentality. Which we can actually do right now. Which applies fear. Removes all like status effects and everything. Um, but again, that triple damage is only going to last one turn. So, and I do need my double damage as well with, with some of the other damage boosts. So let's just go ahead and charge up because next turn we do need to apply that triple damage. So we 
could do the AOE damage boost if anything, but we just got denied, so we can't even do that. So next turn, we'll do we'll do a next turn, okay? If we don't get denied here, if they don't do anything bad to us, all right, great. So damage decrease, uh, we'll take it. It's fine. We'll do a double damage because twenty five percent with fifty percent that just adds up to seventy five. So why not just get a hundred percent, right? Uh, actually, that's basically the same thing. And now that I think about it, <laughs> what? Uh, charge up. Finally, we get in turn. Who? Do okay, so obviously we have to get rid of him first. So get him out of uh, our way. And can we do the triple damage again? We can't. We gotta wait a little bit. So let's do. I feel like I'm using way too many turns here at this point. It's fine. Let's just let's just do this. Light weakness. Get rid of this monster. And then we have one more monster. But that one we actually need an umbrella hater. So we gotta be we gotta be cautious. We gotta be ready, right? So. I'll do my uh, triple damage, and then uh, I do want to give him double damage, but let's do the AoE for now. Oh, we have Umbrella Hater. Okay, great. I was actually going to ask for that. So anyways, look at this, guys. A light weakness. So let's see. 9.69. I feel like it was er better earlier. Like, I think I dealt more damage than that earlier, but I don't know. Anyways, look at this. 74.9 million. That's what I'm talking about. Wait. Wait, wait, what? Wait, so you're telling me the first time I actually dealt more damage? No way. Are you kidding me? What? And I even use AoE skills. Um, so I don't, I don't understand. Uh, is it because, am I, is it because I'm using two attacker? No, but that won't, it doesn't make any sense because it doesn't really matter. I'm still using, I was using team speed this whole time. It did, you, you, you've you got to be kidding me. This whole time I was using team speed and I wasn't using team strength. Oh my gosh, I feel so dumb. I didn't even notice that. And I don't have any more tickets anymore to actually spend on that. But anyways, guys, that's going to wrap it up for today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you didn't, make sure you drop a like, subscribe. Also, guys, in case you guys didn't know, I am doing a giveaway, obviously, but it is actually ending later on tonight, which I'm actually going to post on my community tab. I'm going to be picking out the two winners for the Golden Legends Pass. So make sure to stay tuned for that. Uh, just watch out for the community tab. I'll post it there. But anyways, thank you all so much for watching. Let's see next one. Peace out.